Hey guys, welcome back to Bush Fish and Cook. Now, this might be the stupidest idea I've ever done, or it could be a great one. I'm trying to find out where them trout from the Nepean went. I've driven 45 minutes from home, and I'm about to walk over an hour into the bush, searching for where the Nepean River trout may have went. Let's see what happens anyway. Oh, it's gonna be a long walk. Turns out the walk's even longer than I thought. <laughs> I reckon an hour and 20. But I feel like that's for amateur walkers. I do a lot and a lot of hiking like this. <laughs> Might sound like I don't, because they're a little bit puffed out, but the first section, uh, the first section was a little bit steep. But uh, hour and 20, I reckon an hour for me. So a few tracks I've done before, it says 30 minutes and I make it in 20, so. Keep the pace on and see how we go. It's going to be a long walk regardless though. Oh. About 25 minutes into the walk now. Um, look, I just hope you guys appreciate everything I do on the channel here. Yes, I love fishing myself. Um, but I do do a lot of these sort of big walks, big drives and things to show you guys where the fish are as well. I might not always name spots, but um, a few of them are pretty obvious if you're locals and things. Uh, I know a lot of spots that I do put up, people know exactly where they are because they message me about it. So look, oh, just the effort that goes into a lot of this, a lot of people seem not to notice. So if you have been watching and you aren't subscribed, maybe you could hit that subscribe button for me. It'd mean a lot. I don't usually ask, but um, yeah, if you are watching and you haven't hit that subscribe button, it'd be interesting to know how many people are watching and haven't hit that button. All right, I'll continue on on the walk. Absolutely awesome views along here. I wasn't gonna stop yet, but that's just really nice looking through that valley. And um, yeah, I thought I'd stop for a quick drink. About 50 minutes out now. Ooh, good walk. Good bit of exercise though. Actually enjoying it. Nice and peaceful. There's the valley I'm heading down into. Down behind all those trees. That beautiful bit of nature. Oh, there's nothing better than coming out in the bush, breathing the fresh air. If I sound a bit puffed, I am. I've uh, just walked about 3k in the last 25 minutes, which is uh, well ahead of time of what the maps is telling me, so hopefully within another 30 minutes I should have cut off 20 minutes time of total and we should be somewhat at the spot. Anyway, let's keep on to it. As you can see, the, the track has changed very much and we're on about the last 10 minutes of the track now, I think 10 to 12 minutes. And the whole area has just become rainforesty looking. Oh, it's beautiful through here, look at all this fern. Wow, what a nice looking place. Oh, I feel privileged to have places this close to home that I can just drive to and go and fish. All right, with how dense it is, and the growth getting thicker, I think we're getting very, very close. Pretty sure I can hear running water. I have made it. You see, just through there, that's the water. Still looks five minutes down, but I don't know. The map reckons I'm basically here, so. Whew. I'm gonna assume this is gonna get real steep here then. Beautiful looking spot though. Wow. Wow. Uh, I don't even think my phone captures the true beauty of this place. Oh. After an hour and 10 minutes, here's the water. Oh my 
gosh, does this place look beautiful. Especially with the sun on it right now. Wow. Gorgeous looking place, seriously. One of the nicest spots I think I've ever been to. See through all the way to the bottom. The one bad thing about that, I can't see any fish. But this once happened to me before in another creek and I couldn't see any fish. And then next minute, the fish showed up. So, with the amount of time taken to walk into this place, I've got about two and a half hours of fishing. So I need to find a fish within that time. And if you don't see that, I think I might still just do a quick post about this area anyway, regardless, just because of how beautiful it is. And um, even though it took me over an hour to walk here, and uh, I was really hoping to catch some fish and haven't seen anything yet. So it's just a, a beautiful spot regardless. So it doesn't, doesn't really matter if we don't catch anything. It does, but it doesn't. But I do enjoy hiking out and seeing new spots anyway. So for me, I'll enjoy it. I think you will enjoy it more if I catch some fish. So if I don't, I'll keep it very short and sweet. But if I do, then right after this should be when you're seeing the action. All right, so fingers crossed guys, fingers crossed. Quickly, before we get back into the fishing, the reason I'm moving from this deeper water to where I'm going is because if you know trout, I already mentioned they like the cold water, yes. Certain times of the year, you only really find them in the flowing water and other times of the year you'll find them in the deep water. Now, I've had a fair few casts with a blade into the deep water here. Haven't seen a follow, so we're going to move around and take a look at the rapid section. See if that's where they're hiding out. Slow roll that back. Just sort of get the attention of any fish there if they're there. So it's good with that slow roll. I might be able to see a follow if there is anything. I might be holding out in the rapids and that's a fingers crossed. <laughs> I don't want to go walking too far as I mentioned just because of how far the walk already was. I only go tiring myself out too much after a long walk like that. And as it is, as you're trying to step up over all these boulders and things, you're doing a lot of stretching and... Yeah, basically, if you bugger yourself now, the hour and 10 walk back out, it's gonna be near impossible. Because that first section, is as steep as anything. The good thing though, after that very steep section in to here, so I can walk back up, we super steep, and then once I get to the top of that, it's almost downhill back to the car, which is interesting, but that's just how it goes. All right, so no fish, not yet. Go around this corner. If you don't see me around fish in the rapids, and it becomes the end of the video, that's simply because there was no fish. <laughs> I'm trying my hardest though. Oh. Jaguar. Something gives me a feeling around that next corner. Something gives me a good feeling just around that next bend. I just got a good feeling about this pool. What a lovely swimming spot for the summer. 
feel like even if we don't catch anything, we might go camp out here. Just, I don't know. Let me know in the comments, or just be keen just to simply see a camping video. Like maybe I could build a little shelter, um, build a fire, I don't know. Just looking for more things to do. Things that you just want to see though. There's no point in me making a bunch of content that no one wants to watch. So always feel free in the comment section to give ideas on things you'd like to see. It, it just, it really helps the channel out as well. Because then you guys are going to watch more because it's what you've asked to see. This spot looks absolutely awesome. Everything says fish. <laughs> Screams it. So we're only gonna move to the end of this pool and, and that'll be it. So if you see fish now, that's what's coming next. No more mucking around. I can promise you that. If you don't, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you enjoyed watching me struggle <laughs> for a few fish. Oh, I don't know. Just, yeah. Really do appreciate you guys watching. And that's why I go to all this effort. Because it really means a lot that you guys are watching, commenting, subscribing on my videos. Oh, subscribing to the channel. Liking the videos, I should say. Yeah, so that's why I do it. Oh, I do it for myself as well. I enjoy it, of course. I do a lot of it for you guys to show you where the fish are and how to catch them. All right, this is it. Last chance. That's it. I've, I've given it too many last chances, to be honest, already. I've already given it way longer than I'm almost willing to admit. Come on, we need a fish now. We're going back after this. Come on. Here fish. Please. <laughs> oh, I can see one. I can actually see a fish. Yep, yep. Come on. I'm on. Oh, yes. That's made the whole trip worth it to me. What is it? Oh, no, 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 no. Just stay on, please. I'm on. I'm on, I'm on. What is that? Is that a little bass? Please be. Oh, what? What is this doing up here? That's not even the fish I've seen. I'm sure of it. The fish I've seen was a trout. Anyway, I'm happy to have caught a fish because that's been a real struggle. Oh, he's so solid for his size. He's only a little fish, but he's like a... <coughs> oh, I, see, I knew it. I was like, I can see a fish sitting there. Second fish I've seen all day. Oh, wow, what a pretty looking bass. 
Mate, thank you so much for coming. I have no idea. I've been searching all day. Oh, thank you. He's a funny looking bass. Huge tail on him. Very chunky for the size. All right. Well, you know what? That's awesome. Literally. How cool. I'm glad I didn't give up now. See you, mate. He's off. Yes. Oh, that was so good. The next best part is, I've seen another fish in the same pool. I'll just give you a, a quick idea of how steep this walk back out's gonna be for me. In case any of you have ever decided to come down here. The walk out ended with, and starts with, if you're coming from this end, a ladder. <laughs> it's not an easy track, all right? So, I rate this one whew, definitely up there in walks. So if you're just a beginner, don't even attempt it. <laughs> Cause I guarantee you'll regret it. Oh, what an ascent that was. It said 30 minutes down, it took me 20. It's taken me 50 minutes to get back up here and I'm still not at the fire trail. It's gonna be double the walk back out if I was in. It was one hour and 15 exactly down. Taking one hour to get back up here. I know that other track's almost an hour. Did two hours probably to get home or just to get to the car. Amazingly. Whew. All that for one bass and C2 trout. <laughs> but that's why I do it for, for the video and for you guys. Saves anyone else walking down there if you're thinking about fishing it. Always nice to end off with a sunset like that in the Blue Mountains. Might not pick it up as well here, but nice pink, orange sky. And I'm about 20 minutes walk back from the car now. I think it'll just get dark as I get there. Perfect. <laughs>